Um, so we have the crater here. Right, if you go north, going up towards the Arctic Ocean, if you go south from the equator, so we're going to the Antarctic Ocean. Um, the extremes there are going to be what in terms of temperature? Colder, right? Around the equator, you're going to be hotter. hotter. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Yep, so we'll talk about that. Um, what else do I want to say about that? Also, the depth of the ocean. Right? You're going to get to be different temperatures. Um, what do you think? At the surface, are you going to be hotter or colder? Hotter. Hotter. Do you go deeper, you're going to get cold. cold. All right, cool. Yeah, and also what you said, we've got currents that move stuff through, right? So like there's a huge current that goes all the way you know, from the equator to the coast of, or the what, east coast of the United States, all the way up here, and it just cycles, right? That's on this side of the United States, that's where our, the hurricanes fall to, right? They kind of fall, they start down here and they come up. Right? So they're also following part of like the ocean current that's going on there. Sometimes they break out, right? Sometimes some of those make their way into the Gulf. Um, but if you think about that, if you have this, so ideally, if like nothing's moving based on like the tilt of the earth and where the sun is hitting the earth, right? Super hot here, cold up here, right? But if you have this warm water down here and it's kind of cycling up towards the cold area and then just a big circle like this, what do you think that's going to do to areas that might normally be cold? If I'm gonna warm them up a yeah, little bit at least. Absolutely. Yeah. So what that does for us in this area, which I think is really nice, is in the winter it keeps it warmer, and in the summer it keeps it cooler. Does that make sense? So in the summer, for us, the earth is tilted towards the sun. That sun's beating down on us more intensely, but because we have that cycle going, right, um, the cold uh, water, or the water is a little bit cooler at that point, because um, also part of that's been away from the uh, sun for a little while too. Um, that's going to, um, where am I again? We're in the winter? Is that where it was? The winter is going to get hotter. Yeah, it's going to get warmer, right? And then in the summer, it'll keep us cooler. Yeah, in the winter, a lot of the water freezes. Excuse me, the more inland you go, right? If you go to the middle of the United States, it's cold. It's freezing, right? They don't have anything to warm them up. So, like, even for us, sometimes, like, if you think about, like, in the winter, if you ever watch the weather, remember that? Um, stuff every once in a while in the winter, like, the Arctic, not the Arctic, the Canadian, like, front comes down like, through here. Um, sometimes we're included in that. If we weren't that close to the water, we'd be getting way colder. We'd be getting down to the minus 20s and stuff like this. And the um. So for me, that's great because I don't know if anyone's ever been out there. It's freezing when it gets cold. It's like a very different kind of cold. It gets you right to the bone. Does anybody live in like the away from the ocean? Even if you go out to like Western Mass and stuff in the summertime, it is hot out there. The air just doesn't move. Like the, you know, the ocean currents help the air to move too and cycle up. It just sits there. What's that? Yeah, it is. Yep. I worked at Smith College for a little bit after grad school. And I'd have to like, I mean, I grew up around here, but I'd have to leave in the summer and just go to the beach in like Newport or something like that just to get away from the stagnant air. All right, cool. So all these things are affecting like, so it's interesting, I think the flow, like the different currents are affecting the temperature, right, in the different places of the, the um, situation here. All right, cool. So now if we think about the ocean, it's huge, right? The ocean is like, we actually know less about the ocean than we do about the surface of, of the moon, right? Um, just because we just haven't explored um, the depths of the ocean. Uh, so... But it's because it goes deeper than we really even know of. No, we know how deep it is. It's just hard to get down there, right? Because... Yeah, but how is it hard to get down there but they go shooting like aircrafts out into space? 
question. Could be where the money is, right? Probably where the money is and probably like what they can actually like see. Yes, cooler, right? It'd be like uh, space. Mm -hmm. Well, we had like the space race, right? With like United States and Russia. So there was like, who's going to get to the moon first kind of thing. Now there's another space race right now with China, right? So who's going to get to Mars first, right? Um, but, so, but I mean, nobody cares who's going to get to the bottom of the ocean first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there might be some cool stuff down there. What can we find under the ocean that could potentially fix the things oh, that's there? Yeah. I don't think that's much there. You don't think much there? Yeah, it's good for like, you never know when you find the sea. It's for the to think that I feel like it's just that you are looking out in the way that you can see. There's some cool stuff though. Good for the way that you can see. There's an army ocean out there. <laughs> oh, Isn't there another like ocean underneath the ocean? Or something like that under like uh, as you get deeper you get real I think you're organisms right it's so dark down there they need to like put up their own light sources so they can glow in the dark basically that's fresh there's a lot of people talking about this at the gym right now <laughs> i had a hard time this year you know just asking questions and just hearing the shit here <laughs> but it's like i, I hear jokes <laughs> Somebody in a symbol vessel is gone. But imagine like you're just dropping it down right and you can turn it into like on. All these like fish. Like, you're getting creepy ass fish looking at you. It's like this guy. He comes inside. He's from Nemo too. Uh, yeah. Um, is that all the the bottom earth uh, like the ocean, all that surface, you haven't even really explored. Do you know how much petroleum could be in there? Yeah. Do you think those fish ever go up? So, have you heard of the colossal of the giant squid? Oh, yeah. That's like a giant air pocket. It's really long. Isn't that island? Yeah, so we think these are pretty deep in the. Oh, sorry, Yeah, so it's a big so I think they found they found have found like arms of them and they've also found like uh scarring from them on whales. 